Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's video, we will be discussing about SDLC, which is Software Development Lifecycle. Before we start, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade, and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. In the previous video, you might have referred that I gave you introduction on manual testing, and there, while I was explaining you how the workflow goes in the company. I also told you that in the next video I will cover about SDLC model, okay? That uh, any company would follow, okay? While they are developing the software, these companies, every company, okay, they will follow a certain procedure. That step by step procedure that the company would follow in order to develop a software is called as SDLC. Let me write you the definition of SDLC. The definition goes like. step by step procedure a company follows to develop a new software so now there is a diagram for sdlc okay i will walk you through the diagram it is all um, you will understand how every step is followed in the company i'll give you a detailed explanation of that um let me put the diagram on the screen for you guys this is the diagram of how an sdlc workflow goes first there is one first stage called requirement collection okay this requirement collection is done by person called as ba business analyst so this is a person who has a lot of um knowledge on whatever the domain your company is working in so if he is a person uh, sorry let's say you are having a project a banking project that you guys are working on so this business analyst this guy will know everything about banking he will have like really good knowledge on how banking uh yeah banking goes okay so this is business analyst he will do the requirement collection there is next stage called feasibility study so first stage this ba guy okay from the company i'm putting a suitcase he is going to the customer's place that's it this is his house or uh, not the house this company this ba has gone to the company and he did the requirement collection now in requirement collection he will just take the requirement and also the customer would give an overview of what he wants and th then this business analyst guy he will come back to the company okay now the company will not become happy oh finally requirement came let me start developing the project that doesn't go guys that's not how it goes once the project comes the company will do something called as a feasibility study in feasibility study what does the company do it will have everyone okay it will have project manager there will be a finance team involved in feasibility study there will be hr team there will be someone called as architect there will be someone called as developers someone called as testers okay all these people will be there now what do they do this project manager he has to see before taking the project he is the head of the project he finally says whether we are going to take up the project or not now this team they are going to start giving their rationals about the project now the finance team they will think about money point of view we as a company are we fit financially to take up the project okay now why you would say why do i need to have money as a company let's say that the customer who comes to you for the for the project let's say he's he wants to delay the installment okay when he is delaying the installment to give you as a company should not stop working for his project okay at that mean time when that money is not coming from the customer you as a company should be ready right you should have some resources with you you cannot tell your engineers hey guys you know you all are so best you have been working with us for so long one one month okay just one month you work for free do you think they will work free for you for a month of course not so you should have funds to fund your company in such cases that's why this finance team will see is it capable to have um to to address to these situations then there is a hr team now this hr team will tell that you know how many ever manpower we have now is that sufficient 
to carry on with the project or if it is a bigger project you need more manpower that is what the hr team will do architect teams there will be two architects there will be a tester architect also a developer architect these the architects they will give the rationals on the technology point of view the developer might say do we have the right technology meaning like do we have that certain developers that we want let's say now this is project you need java developers for that do we have java developers okay do we have developers who know that particular language that in that terms this developer architect he will give his rational then there will be tester architect now this tester architect dude he is going to give his rational based on the tools do we have right tools to do the testing okay then developers you know what do they what they do developers i don't have to tell they develop the software testers testing team now they will be there and they will attend this meeting and see how feasible it is are we all as a company are we ready to take up this project finally they will decide all this drama will happen then they will say okay and they will take up the project okay once after we approve the project this pm guy once let's say he is happy he is saying okay we have everything let's approve once the project is approved then it will go to this phase called design in design there are two types of design hld and lld hld is high level design and your lld is low level design okay in hld uh, one more thing i want to say this will be done by architects in high level design i'll again give you one more example okay let's say you want to construct your house you want to construct your house so what will you do you will have one blueprint right this is my site this is how much the site is you will write the um, square feet how much ever that is you will write that and you will think okay i want one entry from here once i enter i want one big hallway let there be two balconies here one hallway i want full big hallway i want one bathroom here and then you will think one more small space let me give let me keep kitchen here one bedroom here you will make all this okay so this is your hallway bathroom bedroom 1 bedroom 2 okay there is another bathroom here there is kitchen here this you are thinking you are giving an overview of how you want you are thinking it you are planning how your overall house should look like this is hld overall you are seeing how your software should look like that is nothing but your hld high level design you are just thinking upar se kaise how how should it look like okay in terms of software if i say let's say you have your website right uh, there is your web page you want the search bar here you want menu to be on this side all your important fields on the left side you want to put a big banner about your website here write a little bit of about about us that is about your company here this whatever you are thinking here is hld how it should look like okay coming to lld inside your kitchen what do you want inside your kitchen guys okay now you want fridge here you want to keep your fridge over here you want to keep your gas stove here okay and then you want to keep a mixer grinder here all these things you will think overall right that is inside your house inside the kitchen inside kitchen where you want what what you are planning that is nothing but your low level design you are going into the depth of the software into the modules and planning on how what where should be okay that is your low level design i hope no doubts with respect to that once after that after the design stage in coding what happens there will be developers involved now these developers they will start developing the software according to the requirement please 
प्लीज बी श्योर दैट वी आर डेवलपिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिक्वायरमेंट इवन इफ यू एज लाइक यू नो यू हैव सम आइडिया अबाउट द सॉफ्टवेयर यू के नॉट अज्यूम दैट दिस कैन बी देर अनलेस एंड अंटिल इट इज नॉट इन द रिक्वायरमेंट देन इट इज नॉट ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट इफ इट इज ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट इट शुड बी देर इफ इट इज नॉट इवन इफ इट इज अ गुड thing you can always give a rfe that is request for enhancement in the company you can never put it on your own okay so these developers they will start developing the software according to the requirement once the development is done then the software will go into the testing phase where in testing phase the testers they will start doing functionality testings on the software to check whether there is any defect or not if there is any defect we directly communicate to the coding team or the development team in order to get it fixed once that is fixed it will come back to you again for retesting so until the defect is gone you keep testing it once that is done now the develop the software is developed testing is done you have a ready software now software is ready after that the software will go into installation phase wherein there will be um it engineers you might have heard of that different company will have different names guys okay some company they'll call it engineers some field engineers there there is different name but the work the job of this guy is that he has to go to the customer's place and install it in his place okay now there is different ways of installing the software right so this customer he might not know how to install that software so this uh it engineer he will take some little bit of tutorial from the developing team how to do the installation then go to the customer side and then there he will install the software once after the installation is done okay this part is done then it comes to the maintenance phase you buy a phone you get a warranty on it just like that you buy a software you get a warranty on it okay that warranty again will be decided ki how many months or years does that warranty goes for okay once that warranty is exhausted whatever the maintenance will be done should be paid okay now let's say for in this example one year warranty is there so in this one year my customer if he wants to add any field delete any field or modify anything in his software all that will be done free free of cost he got any defect fixing that defect free all that will be done free after one year if the customer he wants to make any updates he wants to do something to his software do something in the sense please not doing anything insert delete or modify okay doing that kind of modifications to your software you can do that by paying the company you will not get it done free after one year that's what happens in the maintenance phase so this overall is your sdlc model this is how it will be organized and the company follows one more question they might ask you if they ask you about sdlc model in the um, interview they can ask you why sdlc model why is it necessary that a company should have sdlc model okay the interviewer might even get tricky with you he might say i don't want to follow sdlc model you i will do whatever i want i'll directly take the project i am a startup i'm directly taking the project i am happy i got the project finally i want money i will start developing that kind of scenario he can give you and ask you what will you do in that case okay see if that happens one major drawback is that if sdlc model is not there so what if we do not have sdlc model if we don't follow sdlc model what happens first thing guys you just directly took the requirement okay you directly going into the development phase you are not thinking about anything okay i got the requirement i'm happy i'm going to start developing now you have promised the customer that you will give him in one year software will be finished in one year you have started to develop the software slowly 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 you are starting to understand that your development is going very slow your development is going very slow why is it going very slow you try to analyze why exactly is that happening so now you have come to the conclusion that you are seeing that the project is big you have taken less time already and 
you have developers who are very less you don't have enough developers to do the development that's why it's going late now if you don't give him in one year he will start questioning you a lot and again it's a bad reputation to the company okay you told one year and if you take more than one year one year six months or something it is a bad reputation you are not sticking to the uh, to the words right it's a bad name so first thing you will not know how many developers or even testers in whole how many engineers are required you will not know now if you need more engineers imagine you need more engineers you have to hire them right now if you want to hire them you have to again think about paying them right now if you have to pay them if you have told the customer that i am developing your software in one year for 50 lakhs okay now you kept in mind how many let's say you had four developers four testers keeping in mind these four developer four testers all over eight engineers you gave him a number now if you want to hire more people there you need to have more money if you go tell him give me more money then again not good no not good if you would have had as dlc model if you had this feasibility study there or then and there only you could have got to know that you need more engineers if you need more engineers how much estimation how much is the cost you would have got to know about that right and one more thing now this person here okay he is giving you the documents right how how will you get to know that the documents that he is giving you that is sufficient or not for you to get into the development phase you will not know that also right so third thing is that to overcome these drawbacks it is very important to have sdlc model and the companies have understood that that's why every company will follow an sdlc model to develop their software that's all for today guys i hope this video will be useful for you in learning manual testing concepts thank you